So today I'm sharing some difficult material. It's from many years ago when I first learned about the 12-step program called OA, which is Overeaters Anonymous. I was looking to become more conscious about why I ate, how I ate, and the ways in which I felt like I was gaining weight, um, feeling sluggish, not having the right energy, sometimes even diarrhea, or constipation, digestion stuff. But then also like not facing emotions because I would eat them. So I would eat to like not feel it. So now I'd like to talk about this because I've been working through this for like many years. Maybe like I say, this journal is probably from like up to five years ago. I don't know exactly. So I used to go to these meetings and I learned from all these different people about myself, but really everybody like and this Western addiction to comfort food and to avoiding our emotions and it helped me to get underneath some layers of like, literally we think of fat, but like layers inside myself. So I'll just start. This is from the prompts that I used to have. I'll read it. It's a few pages. So what is binging for me? It's fear, narcissism, codependency, distraction, doubt, rejection. And the reason I'm sharing this is not to embarrass my previous self or that this is so unique. It's just me. It's, it's also to strengthen anyone who might need this. I, so I'll continue. I eat feelings when I'm afraid. I eat when I'm not hungry. And I want to just start this from my own affirmation that this is something I wrote years ago and may or may not still be valid. Um, these are not affirmations about my current state, but this is important to say. I wrote it down as a record. Okay, I'll start again. Binging, fear, narcissism, codependency, distraction, doubt, rejection. I eat feelings when I'm afraid. I eat when I'm not hungry, when I'm lonely, when I'm being too hard on myself. I get resentful about, a, resentful about a roommate knowing, anyone knowing like about this. I feel weak, it doesn't help. When I feel ashamed, I eat in my room. It's made me feel like I needed to make excuses for it in front of others, which is like, oh, it's my medication, or it's my exercise, or PMSing. I don't feel safe without food in my pantry and fridge. It makes me feel pathetic that I feel productive just to make food. I can be bribed and bought with food. It's like being cheap. When there's something I'm avoiding, it's easier and less side effects to go buy food than to even do drugs or drink. I, I've kept food going back into the fridge just not to waste, even if it wasn't good or I didn't like it. I watch others' plates and I don't want them to take seconds of food I made. When I'm out, I wasted money if the binge desires comes and the only local place is expensive. I resented people who ate my food. I don't like sharing food. I don't like going out to eat where we all split dishes in the bill. I feel like it triggers my need to guard and use up the food like a resource. I cook for someone I love and take it wildly personal if they don't like it. I feel uglier and less desirable when I'm bigger and my joints are hurting and gravity and sciatica, etc. I used to write lists of how much better my life would be if I was thinner. I felt too fat at any weight. Now, I just want to say that even if a lot of this doesn't apply now, reading it to remember is so helpful. Um, I'm just feeling like even in this moment, uh, it's so validating. So validating for anyone. <sighs> so glad I'm doing this. Um, pizza, pasta, Chinese food are things I couldn't stop eating. <sighs> I would go into a feeding frenzy. Also fries. And it's because these foods were what my mom fed me when I was suffering. It's my experience. She judged me when I took seconds and hated her fatness. My grandmother regularly spoke bad about fat people. I used to feel bad I couldn't share clothes with friends or be picked up by a man. I also want to make a comment that I was... Um, feeling these ways even when I wasn't very overweight. It was like an emotional fatness. Sometimes it was a physical fatness, but this was also like, uh, that's why I'll continue here. I've gained and lost up to 40 pounds a year, which I used to be diagnosed with seasonal affective disorder for. I didn't really lose weight with Adderall, caffeine, bupropion, which is like Wellbutrin, because it was a behavioral thing, unlinked to actual appetite. Now that's true and not true. There were plenty of times I lost a lot of weight because of the medications, but, um, I also would gain weight on the medications. That was not usual. It feels like with some foods, I get worried there won't be enough. I used to smoke cigarettes. Now, full disclosure, there are times that I smoked well after this or the electric cigarette. And even in this last week, I had some um, interesting issues with cigarettes. I'm continuing here, biting, biting my nails and cuticles, then the electric jewel. Um, I had a tongue ring, I smoked joints. I drank alcohol, took pills, and I think it all relates to consuming and also the mouth. Currently, I spend too much time thinking of food, planning meals, fighting with the part of me that emotionally eats, 
the feeling of my the feelings of my body betraying me are connected also to my sexuality and my dancing and singing but i wrote here sober dancing and singing because it was a big difference for me at the time um it was often really hard to be naked intimately or have my body looked at by my friends or men or anyone actually i used food as a reward sometimes i wouldn't eat Sometimes I don't or wouldn't eat because I wanted to exercise and I don't eat two hours before yoga or Pilates, so I'd end up ravenous after and go into a feeding frenzy again. When I smoked weed, I never felt full. Um, and I ate two to three helpings and still didn't feel satisfied. And I used to feel safer as fat, like it matched how I felt inside. This is a comment I made earlier that whether I was fat on the outside, I had a fat feeling inside. Um, it matched how I felt inside better. Like I felt more like a fat person inside, even when I was thin or not thin, what do I mean, fit, even when I was fit. I gained 60 pounds after each violation. This is like a whole baby, think about it, like a child, 60 pounds, and hid behind fat in childhood. When I was young, after difficult things happened, I gained weight and obviously it wasn't received well. Keeping my hands busy, getting creative out of, out getting that creativity out like i wasn't yet a practicing regular artist so it was like by making food showing appreciation for people via cooking um, numbing myself when i feel rejected my fears and doubts create resentments because i hold myself back insecurity being so scared i'll be rejected again if anyone gets too close feelings of worthlessness inadequacy unlovability holding food close it never abandons me feelings of being unwanted a burden there wasn't space for me i tried to make myself bigger it didn't work. I tried to make myself smaller. It didn't work. I never wanted to be who I was, who I am because I never belonged. I tried so hard not to stick out, but I couldn't help it. Eventually, I realized I rebelled. I fought so hard to exist, to not disappear. My body tried to overcompensate. I'm learning how to be present with the moments I feel. I'm not supposed to be here, not supposed to be alive. I can't believe how clear I was. Um, it's no coincidence I almost died at birth. And I'll comment here and say I had the cord wrap, the umbilical cord wrapped twice around my neck. I uh, tried to breathe before I was born and I came out sideways. And then I wrote, it's true, I'm a miracle. Then I had a talk with someone who's in OA, his name was Phil. And this is on the fourth step, which is the inventory, kind of like the baggage. You might think of the emotional fat, like the stuff we didn't process, we didn't burn up. Um, things that like fears, avoidance, like wounded effects. So things like running away, suppression, caretaker, paper, like the, there's a paper, okay, on caretaking, disease of perception, mechanical without getting into why, a phobia list. These are things he told me to look at. The stress is a physical reaction to things beyond our control and how free do I want to be? So I'll leave it there and I will continue um, tomorrow, but I will, I will say one more thing I wrote. Uh, that overeating compensated for my needs not being met, not knowing what it is I'm feeling and why, and a lack of self-trust. So um, I wish you a great evening, and thank you for uh, receiving this.